Hi and thank you for joining me. My name is Erin and I am a Baby Beats instructor. I am also a before birth Baby Beats instructor as well and I am currently 21 weeks pregnant. So today we are going to do a short workout, a sneak peek at what we get up to in the before birth classes. Um, I've made this nice and simple, no equipment, so you can easily do this at home. I have got myself a chair, um, just in case I need a bit of support if I feel a bit wobbly. So if you could make sure you have a wall or a chair nearby, just in case um, you need something to support, to support if you feel a bit wibble wobbly. So that is all that you need. Make sure you're wearing your clothes that you can comfortably move around in as well. Now to take part in this workout, you must have medical clearance. Yeah, you must be safe and well enough to exercise in your first, second and third trimester. Once we feel ready, let's get going. Right, so we should be ready to take part in our Baby Beats Before Birth workout now. So we're going to start with our feet about hip distance apart, standing up nice and tall, shoulders back, chest is proud. And we're going to start with a little bit of a warm up here. So to begin with, we're just going to do some foot pedals. So we're just gently lifting one heel at a time. And I want you to think about these core muscles as well. So if you can imagine pulling that tummy button all the way back to the spine. Now we don't have to use anything to balance against if we feel quite comfortable, but it's always nice to have something there, just in case. Lovely. We could even do this seated. So if you want to take a sit down, you can continue doing this movement, but seated. Lovely, so we're keeping this going, working all the way through the feet. Yeah, and our knees are tracking the toes coming forwards. Lovely, so I'll just show you from side on, just working through those feet. Good, now if we want to progress this, we can add a rise in between, so we're coming up and down. I want to try and keep this stability through our hips, so we're not wiggling from side to side here. Let's take it up, keep those hips square, up and down. Or we can continue with just lifting one heel at a time. So we've got that nice simple balance there. And when we're balancing, we are engaging our core muscles. We're using those core muscles to stop ourselves from wobbling. So it's a nice gentle way of engaging the core. This is my second baby that I'm expecting. And I found second time, much more challenging. I'm feeling it a lot faster. But I find Personally, exercising does really, really help. Let's just do a few more here. And rest, lovely. Now we're going to take a point and flex with our foot. So we're going to come all the way out, flex, point, and then bring it back in, and then we swap sides. So come out, flex, point in. We can place those hands onto our hips, or you can use a wall or a chair for support. So with this exercise, what we want to try to do is stand up nice and tall. Try not to sort of pop your weight onto that leg that you're standing on. We want to lift up and out the hips, the ribs, Good. Let's have one more on each side. And rest. Well done. Let's engage this upper body now. So just feet nice and firmly planted on the ground. Soft, squishy knees. And we'll take some arm swings. So we can start nice and small. 
and as you feel that body warm up, we can make this a little bit bigger. And we can do this seated as well. So everything that we've done so far, you can do sat down. Lovely. If like me, you feel like you can go a little bit bigger, you can take a bigger movement here with these abs. Nice big ab swings. Lovely. And not forgetting about that core. So if you imagine you're hugging baby in nice and close and tight with those core muscles. Give them a cuddle. And we want to make sure that we're standing nice and tall here. We're not coming too far forwards or too far back. Our weight's right in the middle of those feet. And you might start to feel that in those shoulders. And rest, lovely. Now, let's get the blood pumping and we'll go with a march. So we're lifting those knees. Now we just want to lift the knees as high as we can comfortably do so. I still have quite a bit of motion here, range of movement, sorry. Um, but obviously if your bump's quite low or if you're getting quite big now, your match might be a bit smaller than what mine is. And we can add in some arm swings as well. certainly got the blood pumping and we should be feeling a bit looser and we're ready to try some more challenging movements. Now before we get on to any squats or anything like that we're just going to take a twist. Now we want to try and keep these hips nice and square so what I mean by that is we're not sort of twisting all the way here. We're just going to gently place our hands on our hips and we're going to see if we can twist from the ribs looking over our shoulder. Now we'll keep this nice and small. Obviously, we're not going to be twisting all the way around to the back of the room now that we've got that growing bump. twist or if you would feel like you could open up a little bit deeper we can take our arms out in front and then we can take that first arm all the way and follow it with the eyes and then we come back in just to where you can feel the stretch we don't want to push past and go too far good and again we're being careful that we're not sort of twisting this from that lower body, it's just coming from that upper body, from those ribs, we're just taking that look over our shoulder and back in and over our shoulder and back in. Lovely work guys, well done. So we are feeling warm and ready now. We're going to do some calf raises. So simple um, lifts of the heels coming up and down. So we're lifting up and down. If we think this is a little bit too much, then I'd like you to go back to the foot pedals, either just the heels, or we can add that rise. But if we're feeling up to it, we're going to lift both heels up and down. So again, anything we do where we are balancing, we're working those core muscles, but you will feel this in the back of the legs into those calf muscles. Nice, and if you feel a bit wobbly or unstable, you can hold on to a chair or get sat down and just do the lifts seated instead. And it can be quite tempting to lift the shoulders here, so let's drop the shoulders down. Nice long neck.
I can really feel it now in the calves, up the back of my legs and into my glutes, into my bottom. Now I'm going to make this a little bit more challenging, so we have the option to speed it up. Now with this, let's imagine we've got a squishy marshmallow underneath the heels of the feet and we're just squish, squish, squishing down on that marshmallow. So what I don't want is this, yeah? It wants to be nice and controlled, squish, squish, squish. Ooh, it should be burning. Breathe for three, two, and rest. Well done, you might want to give those legs a little bit of a shake. Now throughout this workout, if you need to take a rest, please take one. Yeah, you can always join back in if you feel ready. Well, that might be enough for you today. You listen to your own body. Ooh, 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 I can really feel that. Nice. Now we're going on to some hip hinges. So we want those feet about hip distance apart again. Hands on the hips. And we're just going to simply hinge forwards. So we want a little bit of a bend in those legs and we just come as low as we comfortably can, keeping that flat back and then standing back up. So things that we want to watch out for is that posture here. Yeah, we want to try and keep that lovely flat back. So we're coming down and we're only coming down slightly there and then squeezing the back of the legs to stand all the way back up. Good. So just make sure we're not locking the legs. You want to have that soft and spongy knee. Good, keep that going. Just in your own time, your own speed. Well done. So good for that. And um, hip mobility. Pelvic stability. Good. Now if we feel like we can do some more, we're going to take this into a monkey squat. So we are bending down into a squat. We want to push our weight back into the heels of our feet. So it's like you're just about to sit down and then we stand all the way back up. I'm going to take my arms out in front so you can see a little bit clearer here. So we push down and up. So some people at home might be feeling like they can go nice and low into that squat. Or we might want to keep it smaller with our range of uh, movement here, motion. And things we want to watch out for is bringing the knees too far in front. So we want to push back into the heels. It's like you're just about to sit down and then we change our mind and we stand up. We should be able to wiggle our toes when we're at the bottom. So if you can wiggle your toes, fantastic. If you can, you're probably too far forward with those knees. So we need to push back. Well done, making sure that we are breathing in. And another thing that we need to watch out for is this posture. We don't want to be arching our back or curving here. We want to keep that chest up nice and high and we look forward. So it's important that we don't look down here. Keep that alignment. We want to look forward and come all the way back up. Let's do one more, down we go, and all the way back up. Well done, nice work. So we've got that lower body engaged there now as well. Now next, we are going to do a chest extension with some arm pulses. So we are standing nice and firm, feet about hip distance apart. We're going to take the arms down by our sides and your palms are facing backwards. And for this, we're going to take the arms up behind the body I'm going to pulse here. Lovely. So, we're pulsing up. Little lifts. Breathe. So, making sure those shoulders haven't lifted. So, shoulders down, 
chest is proud, working those triceps. Woo. This is a muscle, an area of the body that I, I neglect, so I always feel these. And you know what, when they become, you get stronger, you're carrying around prams and car seats. That's one thing that you end up being stronger is in the upper body from carrying baby around and all the added extras that they come with. Let's keep that going. You should be really feeling that now. So little lifts, little pulses. Lift, lift, lift. Woohoo! And keep breathing. squeeze the side to lift that body all the way up and we're just stroking down the outsides of the leg and coming up with this one let's just make sure we're not twisting over so you want those shoulders back chest lifted big squeeze really squeezing the sides of the body to lift the session off. So we're going to interlace those fingers, take a nice big breath in. As we exhale, take the arms right in front of the body, put that chin to chest. And release, well done. Now take those arms behind the body, can we interlace? And then lift that chest up, lift the eyes up nice and high. Release, well done. Let's just gently drop that right ear down to right shoulder. Nice big long space on that left side. And we come and swap sides, so left ear down to left shoulder. And up we come, big inhale, shoulders come up, and big sigh, <sighs> and give yourself a clap, well done, amazing work guys. Thank you so much for joining me in that short 
before birth exercise workout with me Erin from Baby Beats. If you'd like to find out more about our classes please visit www.babybeats.co.uk. I will put all the links down in the information section below and if you enjoyed this please don't forget to click like, subscribe and leave a comment. I hope you have a lovely day, good luck with the rest of your pregnancy and hopefully I'll see you on the next workout. Bye now!